Yes, a very good morning. So yesterday we have started with the theorem of exercise 10.2. And I think we have done the lengths of the tangent from an external point to the circle are always equal. And from there, we did use two remarks that if we have a line which joins the center of the circle to the point from where the tangents mean drawn, that line is going to bisect the angle between the tangents and the angle between the radii, right? So based on these things, let us start with the exercise. And one more thing, there is one question in exercise 10.2, which is which you have to remember as a standard theorem. So before starting the exercise, I'm discussing that question also, uh, the statement of that question also, so that you remember it as a theorem, because it is uh, to be used in certain questions. The theorem is, question number 10, 10.2, you will remember it as a standard result, because we are going to use this uh, result in so many questions. Let me tell you what the result is. He says, this is the result, standard result that you have to remember. That if we are having a circle with center O and we draw two tangent to the circle from an external point P and we draw two tangent to, us, to the circle from the external point P, then the angle between these two tangents, the angle between these two tangents, this is going to be supplementary with the angle between the two radii at the point of contact. But I am saying, let me repeat, angle between the two tangents from an external point, which are being drawn from the external point, angle between these two tangents, the, this angle, it is going to be supplementary with the angle which is made between the two corresponding radii at the point of contact. That means if I'm drawing these two tangent PA and PB to the circle from the external point P and uh, A and B, they are the point of contact and I draw the two radii from these point of contact, then this angle, that means angle between the radii AOB and another angle APB, that means angle between the tangents, they are going to be supplementary. Anshika, in, in last five minutes, just take the attendance and send it to me. Yes. yes. So this you have to remember as standard result. Chalye. Based on these results that we did earlier and uh, we have discussed right now, let us start with exercise 10.2. Exercise 10.2, question number first. See, the question is, from a point Q, the length of tangent to a circle is given to be 24 centimeter. There is a point, there is a circle with center O, a point Q and from this point Q, a tangent to the circle is drawn, let us suppose it to be PQ and whose length is given to be 24 centimeter. From a point Q, a tangent is drawn to the circle whose uh, length is given to be 24 centimeter. A tangent is drawn to the circle whose length is given to be 24 centimeter. We have 24 centimeter length of the tangent from this point Q, it's been given to us. He says, and the distance of Q from the center, if I, if I write the distance of this point Q from the center, that means this much distance, this is given to be 25 centimeter. Accordingly, we are making the figure whatever is given to us. So this is 24 centimeter. So uh, then he says, find the radius of the circle. This is the radius which we want to find. Radius of the circle is required. So I told you whenever we are having a triangle and two sides are given and we have to find the another side, that means indirectly we have to use Pythagoras theorem, but that theorem can be applied only when one angle is 90 degree and that is very much true. This angle is 90 degree. Why so? Because tangent is perpendicular to the radius to the point of contact. This theorem we did. So we will apply that theorem in uh, mentioning it that this is a right angle triangle. So we'll write here, 
ओपी पर पेंडिकुलर टू पी क्यू मैंशन कर दोगे साथ में एस एंजेंट इज परपेंडिकुलर टू द रेडियस टू द रेडियस थ्रो पॉइंट ऑफ कॉन्टेक्ट राइट सो आई एम टेकिंग ओपी पर पेंडिकुलर टू पी क्यू सो इन राइट एंगल ट्राइंगल ओपी क्यू दिस इज अ राइट एंगल बाय पाइथागोरस थ्योरम इन ट्राइंगल ओ पी क्यू यू विल राइट हाइपोटेन्यू स्क्वेयर दिस इज इक्वल टू पर पेंडिकुलर स्क्वेयर प्लस बेस स्क्वेयर सो रिप्लेसिंग द वैल्यूज ट्वेंटी फोर स्क्वेयर दिस इज इक्वल टू ओपी वी वॉन्ट टू फाइंड ओपी स्क्वेयर एंड पी क्यू इज ट्वेंटी फोर स्क्वेयर दिस इज ट्वेंटी फाइव ओ क्यू इज ट्वेंटी फाइव सो ट्वेंटी फाइव स्क्वेयर इज इक्वल टू ओपी स्क्वेयर प्लस ट्वेंटी फोर स्क्वेयर सो दिस इज सिक्स ट्वेंटी फाइव दिस इज इक्वल टू ओपी स्क्वेयर प्लस फाइव सेवेंटी सिक्स सो यू विल टेक द थिंग्स ऑन द अदर साइड एंड विल सॉल्व इट आशिमा इज स्टिल नो डियर आशिमा दिलप्रीत दक्ष रोल नंबर फोर्टीन सिक्सटीन देन नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन चलिए एनी हाउ बच्चे यू विल बी फेसिंग द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ शॉर्टेज ऑफ अटेंडेंस इफ यू आर नॉट अटेंडिंग योर लेक्चर्स रेगुलरली सो बी वेरी रेगुलर इन अटेंडिंग योर क्लासेस चलिए सो दिस इज सिक्स ट्वेंटी फाइव इज इक्वल टू ओपी स्क्वेयर प्लस फाइव सेवेंटी सिक्स सो वी विल बी हैविंग सिक्स ट्वेंटी फाइव माइनस फाइव सेवेंटी सिक्स इज इक्वल टू ओपी स्क्वेयर सो दिस इज फोर्टी नाइन इज इक्वल टू ओपी स्क्वेयर सो स्क्वेयर रूट ऑफ फोर्टी नाइन इज इक्वल टू ओपी and op comes out to be 7 cm length hai to we will take only positive value so op this is equal to 7 cm let us start raghav i uh, put one message that you will send the tangents of english uh, punjabi and i think one more subject and you haven't to respond to that message raghav aroda are you listening koi reaction hi nahi hai chaliye let us start with question number second koi responsibility agar aapko di ja rahi hai please take it carefully and sincerely second question in the figure tp and tq are two tangents to the circle with center o there is a circle with the center o tp and tq they are the two tangents drawn from this point t to the uh, circle with center o and uh, it is given that angle poq this is 110 this angle poq this is given to be 110 degree angle poq it is given to be 110 degree and uh, we want to find this angle ptq that's why i told you this uh, theorem earlier that the angle between the two tangents and the radii uh, formed by the point of contact this is going to be supplementary so you can directly apply the theorem that here angle poq plus angle ptq this is equal to 180 degree by mentioning because angle between the tangents Angle between the tangents at point of contact between tangents from external point from external point and the radii and the radii through point of contact through point of contact are supplementary these two angles they are going to be supplementary their sum always equal to 180 degree so you will write therefore angle poq plus ptq 180 degree so poq value of poq this is 110 
plus angle PTQ, this is equal to 180 degree. So you will be having angle PTQ is equal to, this is angle PTQ, this is equal to 180 minus 110, right? So angle PTQ, this is equal to 70 degree and uh, this is the answer, right? So th these theorems that we did earlier, they are going to be very important because in one question or in another question, all these theorems, they will be used. Question number third. Third question, Deko. If the tangent PA and PB from a point P to the circle with center O inclined each other at 80 degree, then find the angle POA. But the question is, we are having circle with center O and two tangents from the point P and are drawn to the circle. One is PA, another is PB. Two tangents are drawn to the circle. One is PA, another is PB and circle center is given to be O. These tangents are inclined to each other at an angle of 80 degree. They are inclined to each other at an angle of 80 degree. We want to find angle PAO. This angle P, sorry, POA is to be found out. So, POA ko pehle hume dekhna padega. This POA we want to find out, right? This angle is 80 degree, and वैसे तो सीधा भी हो सकता है. This is 80, this is 80 degree, and this pole will be 100 degree by using the same theorem that angle between the tangent and the corresponding radii they are going to be supplementary. So, if this is 80, this is going to be 100. ये 100 हो जाएगा आपके पास. चलिए लिखते हैं इसको एंगल ए पी बी प्लस एंगल ए ओ बी दिस इज इक्वल टू वन एटी डिग्री सेम थ्योर आई एम यूजिंग एंगल बिटवीन टू टेंजेंट्स एंड द कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग राइट रेडिया इट इज गोइंग टू बी सप्लीमेंट्री राइट सो दिस एंगल इज एटी डिग्री सो राइट हेयर एटी प्लस एंगल ए ओ बी दिस इज इक्वल टू वन एटी डिग्री सो एंगल ए ओ बी दिस इज इक्वल टू वन एटी माइनस एटी so angle AOB, this is equal to 100 degree. So AOB, हमारे पास 100 आया. On the other hand, what we want to find? We want to find angle AOP, right? So yesterday, what we did one theorem in which I told you that line joining the center to the external point from where the tangent is being drawn, it bisects both the angle, angles on the both sides. That means angle between the two radii and angle between the tangent as well. So this AOB, if this is this is 100 and uh, this line is bisecting this angle, then AOP is definitely going to be the half of angle AOB. So we'll write here angle AOP, this is half angle AOB by mentioning as line joining the center to the external point to the external point always bisect always bisect the angle between two radii angle between two radii so it means by mentioning this reason we can write aop is equal to half of aob so angle aop this is half of aob AOB is 100. So you will get angle AOP to be 50 degree. So angle AOP comes out to be 50 degree. Right? So very easy. This is 80. This full is 100 by supplementary concept. And this AOP, this will be half of 100. And that comes out to be 50 degree. Right? Chale, let us start with the next question. Question number four. Question number four. Fourth question is, prove that the tangent drawn, uh, drawn at the end of the diameter of a circle, they are going to be parallel always. Tangent drawn at the end of the diameter of circle, they are going to be parallel. You see how. This is a circle. But he says, let me tell you. 
with center O. Let us take diameter of the circle in this way. A and B. Diameter of the circle. And on these ends of the diameters, what are the ends of these diameter? Ends are A and B. On these ends, the tangents are drawn. Let us suppose them to be x, y and p, q. So tangents are drawn at the end of the diameter of the circle. And we want to prove that these tangents, they are going to be parallel to each other. That means we want to prove this x, y and p, q. These two tangents, they are parallel to each other. So firstly, we'll write given a circle with the center O and diameter AB, two tangents XY and PQ drawn to the circle touches it touches it at A and B that is at the end of the diameter. So end of the diameter phase, two tangents, they are being drawn. So what we want to prove? We want to prove that this tangent xy, this is going to parallel to the tangent pq. xy parallel to pq, this we want to prove. Let us start with the proof. Proof. C. To prove the two lines to be parallel, there are so many methods. We did it earlier in the smaller classes, in the lower classes. That to prove that two lines are parallel, we can prove by proving that alternate interior angles are equal. We can prove it by proving that corresponding angles are equal. We can prove by proving that co-interior angles are supplementary. Any of the uh, following criteria can be used to prove that two lines are parallel. So you see that this tangent x, y, this is, uh, this is a tangent to the circle at the point A. A point pe ke circle pe mare paas tangent hai. So we know that uh, this tangent, it is perpendicular to the radius to the point of contact, right? So you can say that, uh, uh, we know tangent x, y, this is a perpendicular to the radius to the radius to the point of contact to the radius to the point of contact tangent to the circle is perpendicular to the radius through point of contact so if i mark this to be angle 1 so this implies angle 1 is equal to 90 degree Right? And uh, this angle 2, this is also 90 degree. Due to this theorem, by stating this theorem, we can write angle 1 and 2 to be 90 degree. Because tangent is radial OA pe perpendicular hai, so angle 1 90 degree ho gaya. Aur ye wali tangent, uh, it, it is perpendicular to this radius OB, so 2 is also 90 degree. So this implies angle 1 plus 2, this is equal to 90 plus 90. This is equal to 180 degree. 1 plus 2, this is equal to 180 degree. So you will write, therefore, XY and PQ are two lines, two lines where AB is transversal. AB is transversal. So when we are having two lines such that one line is transversal in such a way, such that co-interior angles, you know that the angles which lie on the same side of transversal, they are better known as co-interior angles. 
So angle one and angle two, they are making the pair of co-interior angles such that co-interior angles are supplementary. Co-interior angles are supplementary. So when the co-interior angles they are supplementary and two lines are there in such a way such that the transversal between them is making the co-interior angle to be supplementary. This implies x y parallel to AB. So this proves that the tangents at the end of the diameter of a circle they are always going to parallel to each other. Tangents at the end of the diameter of a circle they are going to parallel to each other. This is again a standard result. You have to remember it as a standard result because again we will use it in the proof of the certain theorems. And it can be stated in MCQ in one way or the another way. So each and every question, because nothing is being deleted from circle chapter. So you have to do each and every question very minutely as, and you have to remember it as a standard result as well. Raghav Aroda. Raghav. Raghav, unmute yourself. Yes, ma'am. Raghav, I uh, told you to send me the attendance of the three subjects. I think English. Another is, I think. Uh, English, social, or Punjabi. So you, you haven't responded in the group, and I, I, I'm asking you again and again and again. You are not responding. Dal diya, ma'am, message group me. Chalo. Do it sincerely. Okay. So this is all about this question. Now, uh, fifth question, later on, I'll teach it afterwards. Let us start with question number six. Fifth question, sixth question. C. The length of the tangent from a point A at a distance 5 cm from the center of a circle is 4 cm. Line has been started from the length of the tangent and in the end it is written it is 4 cm. That means 4 cm is what? It is the length of the tangent. But he says there is a circle with center O. From a point A at a distance 5 cm from the center. Center say 5 cm ki duri pe there is a point A. A tangent of length 4 cm is drawn to the circle from this point A. This point A say 4 cm length ki jo tangent hai, it's been drawn to the circle. And the question is find the radius of the circle. Again, the same question we did it in uh, same solution in question number first. But one thing uh, the children they got confused in this question that why that how we are thinking in advance, how we know in advance that this OA, this distance, this will go outside the circle. Why we are not taking this distance OA to be inside of the circle? The reason is. Whenever he is talking about a tangent to the circle from a point, the point must lie outside the circle. This we know that whenever point will lie outside the circle, only then the tangent will be drawn to the circle. So I am taking it like this. It is uh, from the, it is of length 4 centimeter and from center the distance is 5 centimeter. And what we need to find? We need to find the radius of the circle. So again, uh, by mentioning the same reason, you will write, here OB perpendicular to AB. Therefore, because the tangent is perpendicular to the radius to the point of contact. Therefore, in right angled triangle OBA, you will be having hypotenuse square. This is equal to perpendicular square plus base square by using Pythagoras square, PGT. So, right in putting the values, this is 5 square is equal to 4 square plus B A square. So this is equal to 25 is equal to 16 plus B A square. So 25 minus 16, this is equal to B A square. 
so you will be having 9 is equal to ba square Nine is equal to b a square. Square shift on the other side will become square root. Square root of nine. This is equal to b a. So value of this b a it comes out to be three. That means, uh, sorry, o b. गलत गलत हो गया. यहाँ पे इसको change कर लो आप. इसको कह दो a b and इसको कह दो o b. Value गलत put कर दो. This is OB. So OB is equal to three centimeter. That comes out to be the radius of the given circle. If you know the three things, the tangent from the external point to the circle, they are equal in length, and tangent is perpendicular to the radius to the point of contact. Angle between the two tangents and the corresponding radii they are supplementary. Line joining the center. To the external point, always bisect the angle between the two tangent and angle between the two radii. These four five things, if you are remembering, then it will be easy for you to do the calculative questions easily, right? Because these kind of question questions based on calculation, this will be there in board's paper. One or two question always uh, they are there in the board's paper. So better for you to remember these four or five theorems properly, carefully. Only then you can apply them in solving third thirteen. Questions, right? Let us start with the next one. Question number seven. See what he says. Two concentric circles are of radius five centimeter and three centimeter respectively. Concentric circles, we know that circles which are having common center, they are known as concentric circle. So this is like this. One circle. Then the other circle. Let us take their common center to be O. Let O be the center of these two concentric circles. He says they are of radii five centimeter and three centimeter each. If I am talking about radius of this circle, smaller circle, this is five centimeter, and radius of bigger circle, this is given to be five centimeter. But the question is, find the length of the chord. Of the larger circle, which touches the smaller circle, chord of the larger circle touches the smaller circle. That means, which is chord to the bigger circle, that is the tangent to the smaller circle. Chord of the larger circle, that is the tangent to the smaller circle. It is very much clear from the figure. Figure say clear or not? That the larger circle's chord is. वो स्मॉलर सर्कल की टेंजेंट है और यही हमने फाइंड करनी है फाइंड द लेंथ ऑफ द कोड ऑफ द लार्जर सर्कल व्हिच इज टेंजेंट टू द स्मॉलर सर्कल दैट मींस व्हिच टचेस द स्मॉलर सर्कल वी वांट टू फाइंड दिस लेंथ ए बी एंड इट इज गिवन दिस इज 3 सेंटीमीटर दिस लेंथ इज 3 सेंटीमीटर रेडियस ऑफ द स्मॉलर सर्कल एंड दिस लेंथ इज 5 सेंटीमीटर दैट मींस रेडियस ऑफ द बिगर सर्कल तो पहले हम लिखते हैं जो भी हमें गिवन है अकॉर्डिंगली वी टू सी विल राइट टू कंसेंट्रिक सर्कल्स विद सेंटर ओ आर गिवन एज इन फिगर हियर OP is equal to three centimeter. That means radius of the smaller circle, and OB is equal to five centimeter. That means radius of the bigger circle. AB is chord to the circle. AB is chord to the bigger circle. AB is chord to the bigger circle. Touches the smaller circle. Touches the smaller circle at P. Right. So, therefore, AB is tangent to smaller circle. Right. 
लाइन विच टच इज सर्कल एट ए पर्टिकुलर सिंगल पॉइंट दैट दैट बिकम्स चेंज इन टू द सर्कल so we are writing that ab becomes tangent to the smaller circle and if ab is tangent to the smaller circle then by using the theorem that tangent at a point of contact is perpendicular to the radius through the point of contact so this radius this is always going to perpendicular to this tangent they are this implies op is perpendicular to ab so in triangle opb we are using pythagoras theorem we can find this much length of the code no doubt we need the full length of the code ab but first we will find find this much length pb by using pythagoras theorem so in triangle opb hypotenuse square this is equal to perpendicular square plus base square so replacing the values this is 5 square is equal to c square plus pb square solving it further You will be having twenty five is equal to nine plus p b square. So twenty five minus nine is equal to p b square. So sixteen is equal to p b square, and therefore p b is equal to four. This implies p b is equal to four centimeter. So we have find this p b. On the other hand, a b is asked. the question is find the length of the code of the larger circle that means we want to find this ab ab hame find karna hai so uh, in ninth standard we did one theorem that perpendicular drawn from the center this is perpendicular perpendicular drawn from the center agar main sirf ek bade circle bade circle ke ke context mein hi is figure ki baat karu so this is perpendicular this we know this is perpendicular perpendicular drawn from the center to the code of the circle always bisect that code that means it always divide the code into two equal parts that means if you are finding pb to be 4 then what obvious ap will also be 4 so you will just simply write therefore ab is equal to 2 times pb by mentioning the same theorem that we did in 9th standard that perpendicular from center to the code always bisect the code that means divides it into two parts two equal parts always bisects the code so it means if you are having pb to be 4 cm it comes out to be 4 cm then ab is going to be the double of pb that is 2 times pb that is 2 times 4 and that comes out to be 8 cm so this is the length of the code the length of the line segment which is code to the bigger circle and tangent to the smaller circle these kind of question you will see that so many extra questions are based on this concept one is the code to the big uh, the line is a code to the bigger circle and same line is a tangent to the smaller circle these kind of question you can see in the ntsc paper also two three questions if you see the previous question papers these kind of question they are there chaliye anyhow so this is question number 7 that we have done let us start with the eighth question question number 8 this is very small matlab small chapter containing only 13 question four to five theorems and four to five examples अगर हम एन सी आर टी की बात करें सो दिस स्मॉल चैप्टर इफ यू आर डूइंग यू कैन इजिली ग्रैप फोर टू फाइव मार्क्स इन द पेपर सो देर आर चैप्टर विच आर वेरी मच लेंदी एंड गिविंग यू फाइव टू सिक्स मार्क्स ओनली सो दिस चैप्टर इज हैविंग दिस क्वालिटी दैट बाई डूइंग द लिटल पार्ट ऑफ द चैप्टर बाय डूइंग द लिटल पोर्शन ऑफ द बुक यू कैन ग्रैप मार्क्स अप टू फोर और फाइव राइट सो विल कॉन्टिन्यू इन द नेक्स्ट पीरियड आई थिंक वी आर हैविंग द लास्ट पीरियड ऑल्सो ना Today we are having two periods, so we'll continue in that period. And I expect all of you to attend all the classes regularly. I can see thirty-six students are there. Still, six students are there who are not attending. So, no, that let me see who are those students. Anyhow, attend your classes regularly. That is very much required from your side. 